What is up you guys? My name is Jerry and today we're going to be looking at these little beauties from Stone Age Guitar Picks. So for Christmas last year, my buddy Tyler was kind enough to get me these really cool looking guitar picks. They're handmade by Matthew Halliday and they're made out of agate, stone, and exotic materials. Yes, you heard me right, these are actually made out of stone. I first heard of these when I saw Drusev playing with them a little while back. He's an intense type of player, so it would make sense why he would want such a solid plectrum like this. If we take a closer look at them, right off the bat you can clearly see how gorgeous they are. They look like they were cut out of someone's kitchen counter. I have two of them here. The smaller one has a thickness of 3.25mm and the bigger one is a 3.75mm. My regular go-to pick these days are the Dunlop 1.14 Jazz 3XLs. I like fairly thick picks, but not too thick. So I thought that the bigness of the Stone Age picks were going to throw me way off, but I was really surprised on just how easily I was able to jump in and start using them. The shape of them are actually very reminiscent of a Jazz 3 and a Jazz 3XL, at least the ones that I have. And looking at how expertly cut the bevels are, it's hard to believe that someone actually made these by hand. Looking at how shiny they are, I was actually afraid that they'd be super slippery, rendering them virtually unusable, but I was surprised to find out that they're actually quite grippy, which is a huge plus in my book. They feel great in the hand, and the sharp point makes tremolo picking a breeze. They also have a totally different timbre to them than, say, the likes of a Tortex pick. You can actually, like, feel the stoniness of them when picking against the strings, which in turn makes for a sharper tone, if you will. I gotta be honest. I was pretty hesitant on making a video about these Stone Age guitar picks. Or any other guitar pick for that matter. I mean, depending on the one that you have, the size, the shape, and the material it's made out of can drastically change the tone of your guitar and the comfort of your playability. So, how do you showcase that in a video? I mean, you really can't unless you're holding one for yourself. So... Oh well. Nah, I'm just kidding. Since you can't really see what they feel like without physically holding one in your hands, the next best thing I can do is show you what they sound like. I'm going to be switching between the Dunlop 1.14mm pick that I showed you earlier and the 3.75mm Stone Age pick on a clean tone and a distorted tone to showcase the different kinds of timbres you can get from the Stone Age pick. <laughs>
best way that I can describe Stone Age guitar picks is that they're like a fine dining restaurant. Regular guitar picks are like fast food joints. Everybody's got their favorite, but every now and then you want to treat yourself to something nicer. And that is definitely Stone Age guitar picks. I highly encourage you to go check them out. I left a link to their Etsy shop and their Instagram page down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like what I do, I actually just put out some of my own music a couple of months ago, and I'd really appreciate it if you went to go check it out. You can do so by clicking up here. There will also be a link at the end of this video and in the description as well. And for all of my NAMM goers out there, I will actually be at the 2020 Winter NAMM show this week. So if you see me walking around, come up and say hello. Maybe I'll touch your butt. And of course, for more guitar videos like this one, you can head over to my channel, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time.